In this lesson we will learn to conduct a motor acceleration analysis in ETAP and this is an important tool because in many power systems and industries we have motors which are started with or without a starter and this can have impact on our power system. This study enables us to view the impact and analyze the performance of the motor with and without the starter. To begin with I will open a new project and draw a single line diagram. So let me draw my single line diagram over here. So I have drawn my single line diagram. Any type you can perform AC motor acceleration analysis and talking about AC motors there are mainly two types of motors that is the induction motor and the synchronous motor. And in the induction motor depending upon the construction there is the squirrel cage motor and the wound rotor motor. And in case of AC induction motors we see that it works as a rotating transformer. Due to the short circuited secondary, there will be a large inrush current in AC induction motors. However, this current reduces depending upon the slip value. When the slip start to reduce, the short circuited condition slowly start to diminish and become settled over time. And the other motor is called a synchronous motor. And similar is the case in synchronous motor, there will be a starting current or inrush current during the starting period due to the slip over here. Keeping this in mind we will perform our AC motor acceleration. So let's write the components for our single line diagram. So what I am trying to draw over here is to simulate somewhat an industry. So in an industry what we have here is a motor connected to the bus bar by means of a cable and a breaker but for the sake of simplicity I have simply connected this directly to the bus over here. So I have two induction motors and a synchronous motor. Now going to the ratings for every element. I will write the power grid for 11 kV in the short circuit values will be infinite as possible so that's done now for the transformer i will use 11 kv to 415 volts 5 mba transformer and then for this induction motor i will use so when you go to the induction machine editor go to the nameplate page over here when you enter the horsepower this asks for a typical nameplate data so we have the NEC codes the MFR codes and we can also select this from the library but I will prefer to use the NEC codes so according to the NEC codes my current power factor efficiency will be calculated using these codes over here. So let me select the NEC code over here and ok everything else I will put in the default mode and click on ok. So this will be a 100 HP motor and over here this will be a 200 HP motor. And this will be a 200 HP motor as well. So if you notice in the induction machine editor on the nameplate, we can also choose the percentage slip of our operation, the RPM, the number of poles and so on. I am not going to edit any of these values, I will keep everything in the default values. Click on OK. And next I will write the cable over here double click on the cable I will put a length of 10 feet 
and go to the physical parameters okay go back to the info page click on the library then i will pick one cable over here i will put a 350 cable and everything else i will keep on default values now to write my circuit circuit breaker over here so double clicking go to the rating page i had to pick a 200 amp circuit breaker okay over here we have the 250 amp circuit breaker so i will choose this and the trip device will be the cutler hammer and everything else i will keep the same and i will click on ok now let me conduct a quick load flow analysis over here so let's do that okay so everything is fine as now now going to the motor acceleration analysis tab over here from the mode toolbar now as you can see on my right side i have two analysis options over here so we have the dynamic motor starting over here and the static motor starting over here so the difference between the two is in static motor starting you don't have to provide the dynamic model so what you will get is a steady state response and going back to the dynamic motor start analysis you will have to provide the load models the motor models motor equivalent circuits and so on and the results you will get will be a dynamically varying one so for first we will conduct the static motor starting over here so before conducting any of these we will have to provide events so that these motors could be switched on and off at particular periods so to do that i will go to the edit study case option over here and go to the event over here and i will add the event so the event q1 at time t1 i will turn on my motor 1 and at the event q2 it will which will be at 2 seconds and i will add my motor 2 over here then i will start this over here the motor 2 will be started at 2 seconds and again i will add my event 3 which will happen at time 3 second and i will start the synchronous motor over here and simulation time i will increase this to 6 seconds then i will click on ok and let's run the static motor analysis so static motor starting analysis i will go over here and click on this so let me put a file output and now we have the motor starting time slider over here so let me move this time slider to one second over here so at the first second you can see the motor one has been started and we have the load current for the motor one and as you go over here at two seconds you can see this motor has been started so we can see the load current over here and at three seconds the synchronous motor is also started over here so we can see the load current as here as well so so in static motor acceleration analysis what you see is the steady state currents over here so you can't get the inrush moments and the you can see the current reducing as the motor starts to pick up speed so let us observe some of the bus voltages over here so we will look at the bus 1 voltage over here so 
now as you can see in the first second we have a drop in voltage over here owing to starting the motor one and the voltage drop here is more because this time we are starting a 200 hp motor over here and at the time 3 second we have started this synchronous motor over here so this is the voltage profile during the starting of these three motors over here and in the next lesson we will learn to conduct a dynamic motor acceleration analysis